We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I'm much louder now than I normally am. Hi. <laughs> it's me, your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. I just looked over. I'm like, oh, I'm peeking. Oh. Tactics Ogre Reborn. That is what we're doing on this day. Hopefully everybody's having a fantastic time with the game. Hopefully a lot of folks picked it up. Take a look around. Hmm? Mm, okay. Um, and yeah. Yeah, I'm having I'm having a good time with it. I am enjoying it. There is so much that I'm gonna have to learn over the course of this. But you know what? I'm here for it. Poison cloud, area of two, paralytic wave. Stuns woo. I bet that costs a lot of 20 MP. I, that's actually not that much. I mean, all this other stuff is like 15, right? Is there like a better version of heal? Can we upgrade the heal? I feel like we upgrade a lot of stuff, but it doesn't look like our healing gets upgraded. Just gonna take a look around a little bit. So we have at least one of every one of the basic classes at this point. As far as our party is concerned, we have most other things. Sorry, my doge decided to come on by and... There you go, baby. Lay down, sweet girl. All right. I mean, we we looked. We did the class change. Oh, cool. Wait, do we have a female berserker? That looks awesome. And a female beast tamer. Very cool. All right, not going to do that. Uh, who, who's our beast tamer? Who ended up with that distinction? Was it Cup? Why, why do I not notice? Come on, eyes. Pick it up. Where is it? Where is the beast tamer? I I know I did this. Oh, there he is. Colonel RPG. That's right. The Colonel is the beast tamer. Hmm. All right, you're going to become number 14. And you're going to become number 15. And I don't really care about anything else. There we go. Yay. Okay, so everybody's in their place. It's, it's whatever. All right. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, we're going to do some training. Uh, I think that is what we uh, had decided upon. We're going to do training, then we're going to go in, and we're going to play with the, the castle and all the other stuff. Win with the Beast Tamer in the party. Well, I mean, I was planning to do that either way, but glad to see that we're on the same page. All right. Um, oops to out. That's the question. I guess die, you're gonna have to sit out again, buddy. I might sit a few of you out, actually. Colonel, come on through. We're gonna let Ava. Mm, we'll let Kamasar, Helasar, sit his way out. And we'll let Chimera back in. Splooch is gonna sit out. We're gonna have a cup of goodness back in. Katie's going to sit out, and we're going to bring in Cannabis. And I just want to see, what do we name? So we, we have Tamlin. What is what is that um, symbol? Oh, we have Kalar. All right, hold on. What? Oh, it's light. Okay, light and dark. That's I. I guess I. I kind of roughly in my head had that as light anyway. Like I'm like, it would only make sense if it was light, but it's so different looking than all the others. Is it? And it, and it is. All right. So at least that's good. Uh, we could scout again if we wanted to. I mean, well, let's see what we're actually up against here. Oh, okay. Why doesn't this... Did... Did we... Did we fight here? This doesn't look familiar. 
Do we fight in a place like this? Okay, I mean, I guess we did. Maybe. Uh, I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't know. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's roll with this. Yeah, I, I, I suppose there was stuff on the right. No, I just, it still doesn't feel quite correct, but... I mean, maybe we did. I was up till 4 a.m. yesterday doing recordings, so I'm a little bit behind the times. Alright, our flappy boy is ready to go flapping. I remember there was like the water thing over on this side and this, this area does not look familiar to me. This is going to be an interesting uh, situation. There it be. To get you over there. I guess Cup can go over here and maybe he can shoot somebody if they get close enough. Oh, I've gone berserk again. Oh, goody. At least I seem to move further as a berserker. Now we have the blowgun, and then this is subdue. For boost. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yep. You got it. Not going to be able to do it in the uh, training mission regardless, but still... is a slow boy. I think I'm just gonna have her chill. Put a little acid rain on him. A little, little, little wet acid. Why not? but it's something. Alright, we have floated our way up to the top. Quick little shot there. The Fae packed, sure. Alright, V is ready to go for it. I mean, we might as well do this, right? Get the critical hit here, I suppose, and then hit him with the spark. I mean, it's not great, but it's it's something. Dang. I was hoping to claim that. Ow, that hurt. Alright. At least we got to do the, the old one-two punch, quite literally, mind you. So what um what can you do? Oh yeah, you got the blow gun. All right, cool. Okay, that did not move me as far as I was hoping it would. Oh. Oh really? This seems very underwhelming. Well, let's see what happens when I use it. It's ju it just does. I don't know what I expected. It wasn't that though. I can tell you with a fair amount of certainty, it was definitely not that. All right. Yep. She's like, how dareth thee? Oh, right. She was the one that got hit, not the other one. Whoops. Boom. Oh, I said double counter. Single. Whoa. 
really? 81. There it is. Alright, excellent. I mean, let's see why we wouldn't go for this attack. Alright, short bow, or sorry, stone bow. Not really gonna do much. That does a little bit more. Suppose we'll take it. Okay, a little Beastmaster uh, lady coming out there. I really don't have a. Okay, that's like point blank. That's 13 damage to her. Like, why would I want that? It does like zero, it just does so little damage. I guess the buckler does a little bit more. I will subdue you and make you mine. No. Yeah, it's a little problematic. I mean, I guess we could land behind and try for an attack. 85 points of damage, it's not too bad. Oh, we're about to hurt someone. Alright, exiled. Hurt him. Shock that the wizard is uh, holding out as well as they are. Alright, fairly sizable heal, we're at least hoping that's the case. Here's the attack second time through. Ice Blast. Huh. Alright, tremendous shot coming there. You're away, good sir. Enjoy. That's so underwhelming. Why is that so underwhelming? Alright, no, that's not a good... That's not a good move. There we go. Alright, B's got this. Good old stab upside the side of the head. Interesting. Huh. Hey, free card. Sweet, thanks. You know? Maybe with a few more levels, I I'm not sure. All right, wizard lady down. I do it again. All right, let's try it again. Quite enough to put you completely out, but pretty darn close. Alright, we got some plus to magic. 
We can ice blast him into oblivion, and we shall do so. We said good day, sir. The, they're lined up for you. They just wanted you to take care of business. There it is. that far, can I? Nope. I suppose we'll come... No, you know what? Let's, let's, go, the, let's go the other way. We'll come back over here. It's probably fine. Alright, we definitely don't need this, but getting that free attack on him doesn't feel too bad. And it prevents him from being able to, like, flee in terror, which is nice. Not that it looks like he's going to do that, or want to do that. Bam. Oh, he parried me. Boo. Alright. Throw the heal out once more. Mighty impact this time. Just regular old basic impact. Alright. This is probably gonna hurt him a little bit. If I had to guess. Yeah, it's, I'd say that probably hurt him a little bit. shoot him from there. I don't think he did from here either, to be honest. Eh. Nah. And then here, we'll probably be shooting over, getting blocked by the wall. Oh, maybe not? 15 damage. Hold on. We're taking this. We're taking this shot, and we're gonna win it. There it is. Bonus objective completed. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, well, the Beast Tamer didn't really come to play or do all that much, other than to teach me that the Blow Dart is terrible. That's a lot of experience, though. We got some people up to nearly level 10. Which is not too bad. All things considered. Okay, okay. Colonel's got some new stuff. Looks like a dragon taming ability. Hmm. Alright, let's go look and see what the Colonel has on offer here. Uh, Lobber. What is that? I assume he just means he can throw stuff. Throw the currently equipped item across the field. Oh. Empower beast. Enhance attacks by friendly beast units to deal maximum damage. It's kind of neat. Recruit a dragon. Yeah. Now we're talking. See, this is what we needed. We just needed to recruit a dragon. Not a big deal. Just a cotton picking dragon. What? Why does he have to pick cotton? I don't know. Don't ask me complicated questions. Alright. I'm thinking we do like hand axe crossbow or a uh, regular bow type situation. Interesting, interesting. I don't know that I like Berserk. It's it's cool, but I, I wish I had control over it. Eh. 
Well, not much going on there. Good day. All right, you know what? You know what? So again, I, I've, I've been I've been told this several times over the course of whatever, and I still haven't done it. So, or I have. I've looked around in here, and I don't see anything. I don't understand what people keep telling me. Oh, there's so many quests that you're gonna find, and blah 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 blah. None of it seems to make any difference. So, I, I guess we're gonna go through and we're gonna check all. Do we do we need to like rewatch this? Like. <sighs> I mean, I'll do it. I'll check, but I, I just don't see the point. Ogre Battle Saga, Episode 7. Let us cling together. I mean, we, we've already seen this. Like, There's nothing we're going to be gaining from this. So, let's see if we can't just read everything going on here. Goliath, enemy, we don't know. Leader, Lancelot. The Dark Knight Lancelot who attacked Goliath a, a year ago has once again shown his face. Denim leaves his place of refuge to strike him down. Denim lay in wait for the Dark Knight Lancelot, hoping to catch him unawares. However, it was not the Dark Knights that arrived in Goliath, but a small party of Holy Knights from the Eastern Kingdom of New Zenobia. Denim spoke with the Holy Knight Lancelot, explaining the situation to him and his followers. Having resolved their differences, they agreed to go to the aid of Duke Ronway, imprisoned in Almoria Castle. What is this? Fortress. It looks like we're missing something there. The Gates of Almorica, the Galgastani, Bapal, the mercenary, the Zenobians. Denim sets out for Almoria Castle to free Duke Ronway. The gate is held by mercenaries of the Galgastani. I mean, if you say so. Almorica Passageway. Uh, Galgastani, Sir Agarius, the Zenobians. Uh huh. The group defeats the mercenaries and proceeds inside. The castle is defended not by Consul Nyveth, but a knight named Sir Agarius. Agarius. This seems kind of pointless. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep poking and prodding and reading a little bit here and there. Duke Runaway's Liberation, Young Heroes, Tactical Maneuver. Denim joined the Holy Knights in an assault on Almorica Castle. They defeated its defender, Sir Agaris of Galgastan, freeing Duke Runaway from his imprisonment. Duke Runaway held council with his liberators and the Holy Knight Lancelot. And his men agreed to join the Wallace for resistance as mercenaries. Meanwhile, Denim and his companions were hailed for or, yeah hailed for their role in the rescue and welcomed into the resistance fold. Dame Ravnus of the resistance spoke of the recapture of Almorica Castle and on the meaning of being a hero. While pursuing the necromancer Nyveth, resistant soldiers led by Sir Leonar, an ambush in Chrysaro. With the help of Abuna and Donalto, Denim repelled the attackers, reaching Sir Leonar's position. The decision of whether to continue the hunt for Nyveth was left in their hands. In anticipation of war with Galgaston, Duke Ronway seeks to ensure the neutrality of the Dark Knights Los Loren with a secret treaty. Denim is to escort Sir Leonar on his journey to Fidoc Castle as envoy. En route to Fidoc Castle, Denim sir saved a warrior maiden from Galgastani forces at the Archaeopolis of Hrime. She introduced herself as Sistina as a member of the Bakram Partisan Group called the Liberation Front. Despite their common enemy, they were unable to reach a cord and so parted ways. Hearing that the dark net... Okay, so this is... I mean, I'm not seeing any of these bonus quests coming up that I keep hearing about. I've heard from like three or four, maybe even more individual people telling me the same thing. And yet, ain't nothing happening. 
Like, I, I don't, I don't know what they want from me. Maybe learning about additional people is, is the key. I, I don't know. Yeah, the freedom fighter. Yeah. Huh. It's weird. Anyway, guys and gals, I think we're going to break it off right here. I'm probably going to do another grindy uh, level up mission off camera. And then in the next episode, we will go and take the fight to Fidok Castle. In hopes of uh, being successful and amazing and awesome and stuff. So, we'll see. Either way, folks, until then, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play. We fight. We conquer.